Kapolei is a city under construction, always growing, always evolving. According to the latest statistics, about 84,000 people call Kapolei home. That population is expected to grow to 172,000 by the year 2025. There are estimated to be nearly 30,000 homes there in the second city. Planners project 56,000 by 2025. According to the 2000 census, the median age in Kapolei is 31.2 years, compared to 35.7 for Oahu, and home ownership is at 70 percent, much higher than 55 percent for Oahu overall. And the median household income is $60,000, compared to $52,000 for the island. Well, Kapolei is touted as the community where you can live, work, and play. But are the jobs there? Meet some community members with different takes about the second city. Family Court moved to Kapolei and opened for business last month. Donella Cambra works there as a supervisor for juvenile division clerks. She's worked for the state for 17 years. Ten years ago, she switched over to Family Court after a friend told her it might move out to Kapolei one day. Because I knew that my life was going to be in Kapolei, I decided to take that leap of faith. And we bought a home in Kapolei, and it was 10 years ago. So here I am today in Kapolei, working in Kapolei, living in Kapolei, doing everything in Kapolei, so I love it. After a hard day's work, Donella gets in her car and heads home. Now, in years past, she'd spend hours in traffic. Now it takes less than 10 minutes to get to her front door. Less time in the car, more time with her daughter. I take her to school. Um, on rare occasion now, I can actually pick her up from school and take her to her sport. So, and I see her more often now. So that's great. And she loves it when I'm home right away. You know, for, takes me, what, five, ten minutes to get home. So she loves it. Danello's husband also works in Kapolei, so they're living the second city dream. But not everyone is living that dream. Lorraine Burgess has lived in Makakilo for 22 years. But it's been 22 years. <laughs> I'm still only just living here. Um, I work outside the zip code. A lot of my play is outside the zip code um, just because it, the offerings aren't, aren't here. Cities host facilities like a YMCA, a YWCA, a 24-hour fitness. This second city doesn't offer that, so I have to go outside the zip code. Burgess is annoyed there's still only one road in and out of Makakilo. It sometimes takes her more than a half hour to get to an appointment just a few miles away. It's not like I'm going to leave. I really do like this community. I love the, the cool climate. I love these breezes that we seem to be blessed with. Um, I love the views. But um, it's not living up to its name. It's not living up to its logo. It's not living up to its brand. Dave Ray of Kapolei Property Development, formerly the landowner Campbell Estate, says Kapolei is still evolving and says it will take years to see the second city complete. Kapolei is not for our generation. Um, so people that look at it and say, I want this, I want that, it's not for us. It's for the next generation and the generation after that. You don't build a city in one generation. Well, coming up in the second half hour of KITV4 News at 10, we'll take a look at the Kapolei schools and how they're coping with the growing second city.